Hello everyone, this is Fred Raj and welcome to Tab Ferment. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can deploy our website, basically Vue.js application on Firebase. So let's start it. So like in the previous video, we have talked about how we can create a portfolio application with the help of Vue.js. So as of now, we have created this applications having a three page, three views like home page about uh, projects and then we have a about sections so, and we can run our web uh, like Vue.js application with the help of command npm run serve and if you want to deploy or create build our applications we just need to run this command npm run build so this is the npm run build it will create a disk directory so i have already created a uh, build this project so i have already built uh, this directory but it will automatically create a new disk directory so we have a disk directory inside this directory we have a static file so these all are the html code and these all are the C javascript code and these all are the css code now we need to deploy this application on firebase so i'll go to the website firebase.google.com and then we have a section for go to console so i'll click on the console part and before moving to the firebase we need to install two things like first we need to install node.js in our system so you have to go to the website nodejs.org and then you need to download nodejs lts version so this one okay and after installing nodejs you just need to install firebase cli so how you can install the firebase cli you just need to type the command npm install hyphen g firebase hyphen tools so with the help of this command you can install firebase cli and firebase cli is necessary for deploying your Vue.js application on Firebase. So like two things you need to install and after installing Firebase CLI, you can go to the Firebase console. So this is my Firebase console. Here we can create a project. So I'll click on the add new project. Here we can mention the application. So let's say my application name is Vue Bridge Raj Web App. Okay. And then I click on the continue button and then i can disable the analytics part because we don't want to track any analytics related kind of things so i just disable this one and then click on the create project so it will create your project and after installing firebase cli you just need to log in with your firebase cli with your google account so you have to type the command firebase login so with the help of this command you can authenticate your firebase cli with your google account so I'll click on the, uh, I'll write this command and then press enter. So it will ask me to get the, like allow the Firebase CLI to collect CLI information and all. So I'm agree, yes. And then it will redirect to the browser and then this, this will ask for the permissions. So yes, we want to authenticate this Firebase CLI with my, this particular Google account. So I'll click on this one and then you need to allow. And yeah, so your Firebase CLI is logged in with your Google account. Now I have successfully logged in with my Google account or you can check one more time. Uh, you just need to type the same command and it will give you like you are logged in with this particular email ID, okay? Now we can clear this one part. So we'll type clear so we can do that. Now, what I want to do, I'll create a new app, Firebase initialize. I will initialize the Firebase project. So I'll type Firebase in it. So with the help of this command, you can initialize your Firebase project. So we have created initialize the Firebase project and then press enter. And then uh, it will ask, are you ready to proceed? Yes, I'm ready to proceed. And yeah, so as you know, like Firebase is providing a lot of services. Like if you don't know, like you can use Firebase as a database, you can use Firebase for writing a custom business logic, or you can write, uh, use Firebase as a storage or whatever you want to use. And one more, like you can use Firebase for the hosting. So I'll select the hosting part. So with the help of spacebar and up and down key, you can select the hosting part and then press enter. And then it will ask for the project. So I have already created this project in my Firebase console. My project name is View Fire View Bridge Raj Web App. 
so i'll go to the existing project so we can select with the help of down and up key so we have use existing project and then we have a list of projects so i'll go to the i will select uh, view bridge raj web app and then press enter and it will ask you for the directory so like this is a directory where it will fetch the data like fetch your html code css code and javascript code and deploy it into the firebase so basically we have to mention the directory name so what like as you know like we can create or build our application in vue.js and it will create a disk directory so we can mention the disk directory and from this directory it will fetch your html css or static file and deploy it into the firebase so that's why we have written this okay and then we are not working on a single page application so i can go for the no and or if you are working on single page applications so like you can go for the yes button so as you know like we can create a view just we can create a single page application so we can go for uh, like yes button it's totally up to you and uh, like this one is for the ci cd part uh, like we don't we are not working on ci cd with the github so that's why we have gone for the n and then press enter and it will ask like do you uh, like in the disk directory we have our file or we have built this uh, like we just applications and it will over uh, like it will ask for the override so we don't want to override this project and then we we have a file okay so we have a disk directory and inside this directory uh, whenever we run a command for the deployment so it will go to the disk directory and it will uh, check all the files so we have a index.html uh, we have a, this icon file, JavaScript file, and the CSS file. It will fetch all the file, and then it will deploy. This file goes to the server part and deployed it. Okay, and like uh, I have already uh, initialized my Firebase project, so we have a file already. One more file is Firebase.json file. So basically, this is a configuration file. Like we are using hosting, and then we have a directory name. So my directory name is dist. So this is a dist directory. And then uh, again, this one is for the git ignore. Like we want, we don't want to like uh, push our these file files on the GitHub. And then this one is for the redirect part. Uh, like if you are working on single page applications, so we have to use this particular things. Okay. And then we have a one more file dot firebase as firebase rc. So this one is for this will uh, basically it it will connect it with your project ID okay so what i'll do i'll uh, like i'll again like npm run build i will dip, uh, build my vue.js application so it will you have to wait for a second and it will build your vue.js applications yeah my applications is a uh, build now for example if i want to check my firebase hosting in local machine so what i can do so i'll just need to run this command firebase so, so it will run your server locally uh, in your local machine with the help of this command firebase serve okay and like with the help of this command npm run serve this will run your deployment file the development file and this one is for the static file so i'll just go to the directory uh like url localhost 5000 so this is a like static file and uh, this will work as a website okay now we want to deploy this website so what i'll do i'll just close this process with the help of control c and then for deployment you just need to type the command firebase deploy and that's it this is a single line of command we just need to use and with the help of this command your whatever the file is there in the in this particular directory it will move or it will uploading to the server part and you are you are able to access your file okay and this will give you the like some uh, like domain so this is a random file uh, like this is a domain path you can open this domain in your browser and yeah so this is deploy website and this is a byte uh, your project id and this is a domain which is provided by the google or uh, five is okay so we have a project like uh, this one is a home page and this one is project page and then we have a about page and same for we, if we are going to reload this page uh, firebase console and then we go to the hosting part here we will get the details about the hosting so okay so this is my dashboard 
here we have a two files so two links like this one is the default links which is uh, assigned by the firebase pro and this one is for the deployment history so right now this email id has deployed this applications and uh, whatever let's say i want to uh, comment or i want to update the details so uh, here we have written content creator comma tech format so i'll just update few things so i'll go to the src directory and the component then we have a home and then we have a hero section so what i'll do i'll just write techferment.com okay so again like for the deployment we need to create a project or uh, build a project so we have to run this command npm run build and then we need to deploy this firebase project so we have to run firebase deploy and that's it so like firebase is deployed and just reload the page and within a few seconds you will get the updated data and then this is a firebase dashboard for your hosting or website and then we have a deployment history so right now this user has deployed the website on this particular time and this one this is a particular time and one of the best thing about firebase is you can roll back your website so right now this uh, this website is working having a text techferment.com so if i uh, let's say if i deploy this website uh, by mistake so I can directly roll back to the previous version so I'll just need to click on three dot and then we have a section for the rollback so wait for a few seconds and it will roll back and you just need to reload this step and then you can able to see your website and that's it so this is how you can host your website also you can connect your custom domain so here you need to put your domain name and then you need to verify your DNS and the C name and the A record with your do, uh, like domain service provider and that's it you can deploy your website. So thank you for watching.